Hi, thanks for joining me in another video today. We are at the LA Auto Show. Let's go inside and check out all the electric vehicles. First up is the Hyundai Ioniq 6. This EV will be arriving in early 2023 with limited availability. Hyundai states that it has a cocoon-shaped interior and a streamlight silhouette design. We also see the continued use of pixel lighting around the exterior of the car. It is estimated to get up to 340 miles of range and it's using an 800 volt architecture. Next up is the Toyota BZ Compact SUV concept. It's a fully battery electric vehicle. I noticed it had similar headlights to the redesigned Toyota Prius, which by the way, surprised me. Even though it's not an EV, I have to throw this in there. Neat redesign. We will have to wait until we get more information on the BZ Compact SUV. Toyota also had their BZ4X presented alongside an EVgo charger. The BZ4X starts at $42,000 and has a range of up to 252 miles. Nissan had their Ariane display, but this time with an indoor ride-along track. This EV will get up to 300 miles of range and deliveries are expected sometime later this year. It was a very short ride-along, but it had a lot of tight corners to demonstrate how agile it is, even though it's a large SUV. There were a few short straightaways, but not enough to get a good acceleration test in. The Nissan Leaf was also here, sporting some interesting wheels. Volkswagen brought the ID4 and ID Bus. The VW ID4 is now assembled in Tennessee and has introduced their ID4 standard, which is a 62 kilowatt hour wheel wheel drive version. The ID4 standard will start at $37,495. This year, people had the chance to get inside the ID Bus. However, the vehicles on display were European models. It has a nifty and large interior, and I believe the US version will be a little bigger. The interior is very similar to what's currently in the ID4. More info on the US model should be coming out next year. It will be nice going on trips in the Buzz. It's a cute van. Now we enter the Chevrolet section. First in red, we see the all-electric Chevy Blazer, which will start around $45,000 and get up to 320 miles of range. It will be available starting summer of 2023, and the SS trim will be available fall of 2023. Then in blue, we see the electric Chevy Equinox. This EV will start at $30,000 with an estimated range of up to 300 miles. Inside, there's a big screen coming in at 17.7 .7 inches. The Equinox will be available fall of 2023. Another electric truck will be coming into the market, the Chevy Silverado. This will start at $39,900, get up to 400 miles of range and up to 754 horsepower. It has a multi-flex mid-gate with pass-through which allows for a longer length cargo. You'll probably be able to fit an entire couch here. On the side are the 2023 Bolt EVs. The Bolt EV is more affordable of all the EVs I've seen today next to the Nissan Leaf. The Bolt starts at $25,600 and gets a range of 259 miles. Electric charging stations had their own exhibits, including Electrify America with their outdoor track, Blink, and EVgo. I also had the chance to pet some goats in the EVgo booth. It was a nice break in between seeing all the vehicles. Okay, break over, let's continue. VinFast was here showcasing a few of their models, including their newly revealed VF6 and VF7. The VF8 and VF9 were also showcased alongside the other two. All were different sized SUVs and had a large interactive display in the center. VinFast also had ride-alongs at the Outdoor Electrify America track. We rode in the VF8. I didn't get a chance to play with the screen inside, but some of the icons reminded me of the ones you'd see on an Amazon Fire tablet. Other than that, it drove well even though the track was uneven and bumpy. On to the Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept. 
This EV, or how Dodge puts it, it's a Dodge that happens to be a battery electric vehicle or electrified muscle car. Anyway, not too much is known on the specifications of this vehicle yet. It will have different battery electric power levels and has three patent pending features, including the R-Wing, Vratzonic chambered exhaust, and Erupt. The front of the car has a spoiler to keep the car aerodynamic, while keeping the boxy look Dodge is known for. That Vratzonic chambered exhaust is the sound this vehicle will emit, which I hope will have the option to be turned off. They did a short demo of the Hellcat sounds it would emit, but I wasn't quick enough to record it live. Honestly, I am not a fan of the sound or any sound coming from an EV, other than that light pedestrian alert noise. So I'm definitely curious how this EV will do and if the fake sound is something that will attract people or not. The Fiat 500e is coming back to North America in 2024. For now, we are looking at the 500e Armani, which is one of the three vehicles that will be auctioned off for charity. The other two were styled by Bulgari and Gucci. We will have to wait until the upcoming years to see what the Fiat 500e will look like for the US and how much that will cost. Most likely we will see more news at next year's LA Auto Show. This is the Cadillac Lyric, starting around $63,000 and getting up to 312 miles of range. It's a very bold and fancy looking car. We also saw it displayed at the EVgo booth charging up. The Lyric has already been delivered to a few customers in the US, and production is expected to increase soon. The Genesis GV60 is an electric SUV. It starts around $60,000 and has a range of 248 miles. We also had the chance to go on a ride along in this car, which I'm a little upset that this year almost all these test drives were only ride alongs, no driving yourself. Once you get inside, you'll notice this crystal ball in the center. It's odd but intriguing at the same time. It flips over to reveal your gear selector. Overall, it was a fun short drive and the interior was good looking too. The Genesis Electrified G80 was also at the show. This EV has 282 miles and will start at a whopping $79,000. It's only available in one trim and is limited to a few states where it will be sold. The Ford Lightning had a test track that looked pretty fun. It tested out its quick acceleration. Listen here. <laughs> Lastly is the refreshed Kia Niro EV. The Niro EV has a range of 253 miles and starts at $39,000. It's not the quickest EV, but it does well for its under 40,000 price tag. There were so many other EVs that I saw, including the electric Hyundai Kona, Polestar 2, Subaru Solterra, Indy 1, Volvo C40, Mustang Mach-E, the Kia EV6, the Hummer EV, and Lordstown Endurance, which was also on display with the Blink Station. There were also a few Toyota concept vehicles, and in the corner, Porsche brought the Taycan and the Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo. There was also Motional Ionic 5 Robo Taxis, which are opening soon to passengers in Greater Los Angeles, and of course Electro Mechanica, which are probably showcased at many malls. There was a lot to see and a lot to look forward to next year. Which one is your favorite, or which one would you like to reserve? Thanks for spending time with me today, and happy charging!